Hi, Jan here. Today I would like to uncover the question if creatures like Bigfoot, Yetis, Ogres, Trolls, Goblins and the like could possibly exist. Where would they live within a realistic world and from which creatures would they evolve? Scientists have observed within the fossil record that mammals can shrink 10 times faster than they can grow. We also know when a creature grows twice the size it will have 8 times the weight when it has the same proportions. It's likely that the weight is a little bit higher because the bones and the muscles have to support the new weight of the creature. On the other hand, weight might be reduced due to more efficient organs that can have a lower weight. Or if arms are not used the same way as they were used before, they can become a little bit shorter and thinner. As it was observed that primates grow a little bit slower than other animals, it would take a primate or humanoid 1 million years to gain 10 times the weight while it grows. Let's say we have a human-like humanoid that is 3.6 meters or 12 feet tall and weighs around 650 kilograms or 1,433 pounds. From what science knows today, it would take around 800,000 years for a creature to evolve from a human to such humanoid. It's very likely that such creatures would evolve from our ancestors, which originated within the elevations of Africa. They evolved to become opportunistic omnivores, which means they can eat nearly everything that is not poisonous, which is a very large advantage because you can grow within every niche and you can have food wherever you go on the planet. It's very likely that when they grow very large, that they mainly eat plant-based matter as most mammals on our planet that became very large eat plants. Most carnivorous animals don't grow very large and only those that are also omnivores will become a little bit larger. It's different with dinosaurs, but it's because the way energy is used within the body of creatures and therefore carnivorous mammals won't grow very large. And it would be only possible for such creatures to grow very large while being carnivorous when they live in regions where a lot of animals live like within or near jungles. Something like King Kong could exist in the world but it would be much smaller than what you see within the movies. It's possible because 10 million years ago creatures similar to gorillas already exist on our planet. It's possible that a gorilla-like creature could evolve within 5 million years to a larger than 4 meters or 13 feet high creature when standing on two legs and weighing around 10 tons but it would likely to be less than 10 tons because the legs would grow a little bit larger and therefore the body mass would be a little bit reduced. Also the muscles would be reduced a little bit because gorillas have a lot of muscle mass on their body and they wouldn't need that muscle mass when they grow larger. There have already been fossils found from a creature on our planet called Gigantopithecus blacki and they are were around two meters tall standing on all fours and had a weight from around 500 kilogram which is two and a half times the weight of a gorilla. Such creatures could be omnivorous but would mainly eat plant-based matter. They would live in places around jungle, savanna or forests where they have a lot of matter to eat. Homo erectus, an ancestor of humans which lived between two million years to 100,000 years ago which possibly had some kind of vocal expression, maybe used fire and has used process tools, could be the ancestor of some giant humanoid like maybe a primitive auger or something like that. So when you want to have some kind of language or some possibility of primitive speech, that is from where you want to go. By today's knowledge, the Homo erectus became Homo heidelbergensis, Neanderthalensis, Homo sapiens and Denisovan. So this was a human ancestor that gave birth to many other lineages, and therefore could also be the ancestor of some different fantasy creature. So this creature could easily have twice the body size of a human and therefore nearly eight times the weight. So you would expect something beneath 800 kilograms, but it would be very similar to what you would see within media, movies, or anything like that. They could evolve everywhere where humans evolve. They could live within plains, near forests and the like because giantism is not just for creatures that live within the north but within the north creatures are more likely to evolve giantism to sustain the cold. I think Yidis or the Bigfoot would evolve from creatures like the Australopithecines which were some of our ancestors and the ancestors 
of the Homo erectus. And they would very likely to be hairy because they lived in elevations above 1000 meters or 3300 feet. So when such creatures would spread around the world and they would have a habitat like the Himalayas or the Rocky Mountains within America, I could imagine that they would keep their fur to keep them warm on those high elevations, but they would need to live in some places where they can get a lot of nutrition. So I think Yetis could possibly live within a mountain range like the Himalayas and they would eat a lot of grasses within a Tibet for instance or when they would live on the other side of the Himalayas where it is very green and lush they could eat from the other plants that are there but also eat things like goat or other animals that eat whatever grows within the Himalayas. So it's also possible that those creatures would evolve to become very large as the Australopithecines lived around 4 million years ago. And as far as we know Australopithecines only lived in small parts of Africa and when you could imagine that these creatures would spread throughout the world and would evolve within niches at the places you could have all kinds of human-like or humanoid creatures. When you hear the word goblin, I think most people think about something as you can see in Dungeons and Dragons. So those small hairy creatures with sharp teeth and that hunt in packs. I think some similar creature could evolve from Homo erectus, but I don't think that they would evolve sharp teeth or claws. But I think a much cooler creature would be something that would evolve from a Australopithecine in something that would fall within the niche of a goblin. I think another cool thing is when you already had humans which had agriculture for several thousand or maybe million years, what creatures could evolve from those humans or those humanoids. Because they could grow very large because they have such an abundance of food, which you can see within modernity how the younger people become very large already. And that's all I've got for this topic. If you are interested in this topic and want to know more, just let me know. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something and I hope you have enjoyed it. And we see us in the next one.